14 states in 14 days. We're doing it by motorcycle. It's called Biking the Battleground. To D.C., Iowa is this, and this, and this, and yet again this. But Iowa is much more than flyover cornfield. I grew up on a farm, so we had to work for everything that we had, you know, and we worked. My, <laughs> my parents made us do chores every day, you know. We were up with the chickens in the morning and did all that ba hay, baling of the hay and things like that. And um, So we always had to work from the time we were able to work. And I think that, that instills a lot of people in the Midwest to have the work ethics they do. That's Rochelle Nielsen, co-manager of the Waverly Area Veterans Post in Waverly, Iowa, explaining why she votes Democrat. I, I agree that everybody should be able to have the same health care. No matter where you live or your income or anything, we should all be able to be seen by a doctor and then, um, or a hospital that you choose just because it's fair. I mean, it's just, it should be something that should be our right. No matter how much money you make depends on where you can go. Um, the other thing I think that everyone deserves the same right to have the same education. And here's Sandy Shin, retired gunnery sergeant from the U.S. Marine Corps at the same Waverly Area Veterans Post, weighing in on America. So looking at the country now, what are you seeing out there? disarray, I guess. It just doesn't seem to be too divided. Too divided. That's a good word for it. Too divided. How, how is the government treating you for like VA benefits, health care, things like that? Very good. Because actually I go to the outpatient clinic over in Waterloo in the VA. And I remember when I was in, when you went into, let's say, the Naval Hospital of Balboa, you might be there all day long you know, waiting for your appointment to get to be seen. But that's one thing that's gotten a lot better because now when you make an appointment, like the outpatient over there, it's pretty much right on time. You probably don't wait any more than five, ten minutes and you're in seeing the nurse or doctor. That's great news for veterans, and he didn't say, but a nurse with years of experience in the VA medical system in Waterloo had this to say. But yeah. Have you noticed any... Um, Significant differences with the change in the administrations, the Barack Obama versus Donald Trump, um, any, anything along those lines? Let me think about that. Um, no, to the VA, but I think on a whole, you know, uh, President Trump supports the military and he's not shy to say it, and he has been funding it. And myself as a mother of a son in the military, when I vote, I always look at who I want my son's boss to be. That's how I vote. That's how a lot of Americans vote. Next stop, Minnesota. It's called Biking the Battleground, and I can't wait to meet you on the road.